this is the front of the car. If you come back from the powder coaters, they made a very good job of it. If this was really, really badly rusted, I'm really shocked really I just how much how rusted this this was. Uh, there you go, what can you do about it? So I decided to have the powder coated and uh, really for the condition it was in, it's come up very good. One thing I'm a little bit concerned about, you've got gaps where maybe the uh, sandblasting didn't reach or the, or the powder coating didn't reach and it will start rusting out from un underneath these gaps here. So I want to seal these gaps up. For that, I thought any old thing will do. I bought some of this flexible roof gutter sealant, sort of rubber sealant, but it remains flexible. The mountings on the fork, I've decided to go to, for, to stainless steel. Instead of flange nuts, I'm going to use nylon nuts and plain washers. I want to make some mylar washes so it doesn't actually bite into the powder coating. Hopefully it might last longer. That's the theory behind that. So for now, uh, I think I'm going to cut this off. Quite well. Do the same on there, a smaller gap. Get this on your hands, it's really messy.
think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. I'll let that. First, I've got some of these, the washes I made up. And that's what it's gonna get. the finished article what it looks like wheel looks dead center yep that looks fine well okay my verdict on powder coating it is the results are really really good uh, it covers it covers a multitude of sins and um, it, it, of course it isn't the same as paint it has a slight watery like ripple effect like, like you would see on water but the key is impressive on coarse metal i.e. sort of uh, rusted frames and uh, various things like that i don't know what it would be like on sheet metal on good clean sheet metal i don't know how long it would last uh, the guy at the powder coating works uh, says to me on rusty metal they sandblast it first of course and um it depends how deep the rust pores run because what can happen is uh, when it goes in the oven the rust can ooze out of the rust pores and create like sort of little tiny rust bubbles in in more of the finish of the of the powder coating uh it's kind of a warning he gave me when i handed my um front mugard in but um as it turned out it was it, it no uh, effect like that at all to be seen and i rather think although mine was very well um rusted it was it was 
surface rust and it wasn't sort of rusted into the metal so it's something to bear in mind when you uh, if you want to get it done yourself you can see uh, uh, well I can see the difference it's a bit like looking at uh, stainless steel and chrome you know it's different whatever way you polish it or tart it up it, you can tell that it's different it looks different you know but having said that, for a rusty old Ollie Davison mudguard, it saved it basically. It saved the day, you know. I mean, it was. This is a very difficult part, piece to actually rub down in paint because it's got like rivets, rivet heads showing, and this, that, and edges, and pretty difficult piece to rub down. And how do you get rid of the rust? Like build up primer. I build primer and so on. It would have been a total pain in the ass. Twenty quid down the um powder coating company done. So it's only a small mug guard. Unlike the rear mug guard, it's the kind of a it is there for all to see. That has got to be right. And I don't think I would like this. Rear mud guard, uh, powder coated. I painted that myself with um, U Pol aerosol. I'm very pleased with the results under the atrocious conditions I had to paint it. The weather just wouldn't let up. And the tank was repaired. It was a new tank well, um, well, two years ago now. Two years, two and a half years. Uh, so basically the only original uh, paint, black paint, is these covers, two covers. But, um, so, it's, it's nearing completion. I'm waiting uh, before the MOT. Uh, the front wheel, uh, I'll just keep an eye on it and see how things go.